Hey guys, today I will be showing you how you can create your first React app and also how to clean up all the unneeded files. So the first thing we want to do is come to nodejs.org and you're going to see these two right here. You want to download this one that's recommended for most users. And once you're done downloading that, we can open our command prompt. And we can type node-v. And here we're going to be able to see the version we have. So there are multiple ways of how you can do that, but probably the easiest way is we can go to our VS Code. We're going to click on File, on Folder. We're going to create a new folder and let's just call it new dash app. Just make sure this has to be lowercase. You can't have uppercase letters. It's not going to work. Then once we create the folder, we're just going to select that. And then here we want to open our terminal. So for Windows, you can do Control J to open our terminal. Or you can go here, terminal, new terminal. And then inside of here, we're gonna do npx space create dash react dash app space. And we also wanna add a dot here. So if we have the folder opened and we add a dot here, that means it's gonna generate all the files inside this folder we have opened. So this usually takes around a minute or two, depending on the PC. So I will be back when this is done installing. All right, so that just finished installing. It took around two minutes for me at least. So once it's done installing, you're going to be able to see this mes message. It's going to say npm start, run build, test, and all the other things. So doing it this way, we're not going to need to navigate into our directory since we already opened the folder. So the only thing we need to do here is npm start. So npm space start. And this is going to start our project. Okay, so we have our project open here. Then we can come to our VS Code, minimize the terminal. Then if we open our source, we're going to go to app.js. Then inside app.js, if we wanted to change something, if we add hello here, and we do control S to save. As you can see, this text is changed to hello. If we do hello one, we can also go here, click on file and save. That's also going to do the same thing. So it's going to update whenever we save. So I'm going to show you how you can clean up the files as well first. And then I'll show you the other ways of how you can create a React app, which are all are going to be pretty similar. But we're going to be using Command prop, Prompt, Windows Terminal, Git Bash, and other things like that. So the first thing you want to remove is setuptest.js. So you can just click on it. And then you can either right click, delete here. Or you can just press the delete on your keyboard. So let's just do right click delete. Then the next thing we have is service worker. We want to remove that as well. So we can just do delete on our keyboard. Then we have logo SVG. So we can also right click delete. Then our index CSS. We're also going to be removing that. So just delete. Then we have app.test.js. We're going to remove that as well. And then inside our index.js, we don't want to remove this whole file, but let's open that first. And inside index, there are a few things we can remove. So line 14 to 18, we want to remove all of those. We're going to remove line 5. And we also want to remove this import index CSS. Then inside our app.js, we want to remove the logo. We're going to remove everything from here. And I'm just going to add an H1 for now, just so it formats properly. And then the other thing here that's going to be completely optional, I just always change this to const to make it an arrow function instead. But this is completely optional. You can keep it as function. It's going to be the same thing. Then we can also come to our app CSS. We don't want to remove this. I usually use this for basic styles. So let's open that. Then inside of that, what I usually do, you can just click here, Control A to select everything and just remove everything completely. And then here I usually keep my basic styles like box sizing or quarter box, margin zero, padding zero, and then some font I have added. So for now I'll just add sans serif. So this is usually all I keep in my app CSS. You can keep all your styles here, but I usually use something called emotion. You can use styled components or anything else, whatever you guys prefer. Then there are also files we can remove inside public. So if we go to public, 
we're going to remove all of these files except the index.html. So index.html is the only one we want to keep and all of these we want to remove. So robots.txt, we want to remove that. Then manifest.json, remove that as well. We can remove logo. Remove this logo as well. And also remove the fab icon. So now let's go to our index.html. And here there are also a few things we can remove. We're going to remove line 5. So link rel equals icon. We can remove this link right here. And this one right here. And we also don't need all these comments. So we're going to remove those. And we can also remove these comments right here. So usually when you start making a project, you just want to change the title, which is also optional. I just like changing this. So for example, if this was a weather app, just do that instead. And now we have all the files clean up and we can actually start building our app without any unused files. And then, like I mentioned before, the other few ways you, you can do this. If you're using Git Bash, you will need to download Git. So select the one you need here. And then we can create a folder. For example, call it new app. And if we open this folder, we can do the same exact thing we did in VS Code. But instead, we're going to right click Git Bash here. And then here we will do the same thing. npx create-react-app dot. So since we opened it in a folder, it will generate the files in this folder. So that's one way of doing it. Then if we remove this, you guys can use Windows Terminal if you have that. If you want to install Terminal, you can come here. And here, you can just do Windows Terminal. And you can get, this is the first one I'm using, so you can get that there. So if we open a Terminal, here you have a few options. We can navigate into a desktop first. CD desktop. And then once we're here, we can do npx create dash react app. And here we can also create a folder. So maybe we want to call it hello. So this would create a folder hello and it would generate the react app inside this folder. But if we had a folder that's called like test one, we can do the same exact thing, but we would navigate inside that folder first. So since we're on desktop, we can do cd test one. And then the same thing, npx create react app dot so this would be the same exact thing we did here so there are plenty of ways of how you can do this whatever you guys prefer i feel like this is easiest for beginners so the first way i showed you but yeah that's gonna be it for this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out